What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Garrett Hahn and I am so excited for today's video because we are going to be reviewing the new foundation, in case you couldn't tell, <laughs> from Anastasia Beverly Hills and their new setting powder, you guys. I'm really, really pumped for this video. Everything from like the packaging to the shade range to just like how the formula is supposed to be. Like it's finally not a matte formula. Don't get me wrong, I love a good matte face, but I'm really excited to try something that is not matte. So we are going to be diving into these products in depth today. I am going to be doing a full on wear test. That way you guys can see how it's going to perform throughout the day. But if this is your guys' first time seeing my face on your screen, hi, my name is Garrett. Thank you guys so much for being here. I really, really appreciate you guys taking some time out of your day to come over here, hang out with me, talk about makeup because what else is better than just talking about makeup and doing makeup? I'll wait. If you guys want to join the madness that is on my channel, I would love to have you guys. So feel free to click that subscribe button down below to become a member of this little growing fam that we have over here on YouTube. I would love to have you guys. Um, but that's it, girl. I just want to get into this foundation. I want to see what it is all about. So if you guys want to see what my thoughts are on the new foundation, foundation from Anastasia Beverly Hills, then obviously keep on watching and let's focus, focus, get sickening. <laughs> I got the foundation PR mailer in the mail literally this morning and I am up here maybe 30 minutes later filming this because I'm so excited to try this out. And then we also have the other PR kit right here that has all of the powders in here and they pre-selected five shades for me. I am nervous about these because I am super, super picky with my foundation shades. And just so you guys know, I have very pink and cool undertones. Also, my skin is normal combo. Um, just so you guys know going into this video. They didn't send like a little info card in the PR kit. So I'm going to hop on my phone real fast and find out if we can find any more information online. I'm gonna put a screen recording right here. That way you guys can read along with me and see the website. That way we are getting the tea together. But um, this foundation has 50 shades, which is amazing. The gradient, you guys, looks incredible. I am glad that they have, you know, very fair and very dark. The Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation is a water resistant liquid foundation that creates a luminous natural finish. The radiant formula delivers long wearing, medium coverage, yet still feels weightless and looks ultra fresh. This is the coverage that you have been waiting for. Okay, work. Luminous foundation looks so great on its own. There is no need to set with a powder. Okay, um, yet they include a powder, but We'll dive into that later, I guess. Available in 50 completely natural shades, this lightweight foundation blurs any imperfections, including discoloration and unevenness without taking or masking the skin's natural radiance. This easy to blend face makeup leaves the skin with a perfected looking complexion that is free of flashback, yes, or oxidization. Oxi, 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 oxidization. We're gonna skip over that word. I'm a booty guru, not a, not an English professor. So that is the rundown on their website. Obviously it says medium coverage. Um, Y'all know I'm a full coverage queen. However, I've actually really been liking sheer coverage foundations lately. I honestly never thought I would say that, but with a full coverage concealer, I think the combo is so beautiful. Um, so we're obviously gonna be testing that today with the foundation. Um, I'm also going to an event later today, so we are gonna be doing a full on wear test. I'm really hoping that this works. They sent three neutral and two cool tone. I'm probably gonna be grabbing for the cool tone ones. This is what the packaging looks like. Of course, it comes with a pump, which I love. Personally, I don't like when foundations don't have pumps, so I'm super, super happy that these have pumps included. And then turning it around, you guys, I actually really, really like how it just says foundation in bold and dark letters on the back. Here's why I really like this. So if you are a professional makeup artist and you have gigs all the time and your kit is bigger, you're obviously gonna have a few foundations that you pick from like, depending on what client you have. If you know you really like this foundation, you don't have to be like digging around in your kit to find it. Literally, if it's turned to the right side, it'll just say foundation. You know exactly which one you need to pick and you'll just like pick it and go. The component is glass. The top is obviously plastic. This retails for $38 and you are getting 
30 milliliters or one fluid ounce. I'm really disappointed because I swatched all of the foundations on my arm and I honestly feel like these are gonna be way too yellow for me. I was looking at all of the shades on their website and there was a gap between 220 and 240. There is a shade called 230N and that is light skin with pink undertones and I genuinely feel like that would have been my shade. So these are the swatches right here. Of course, you guys can obviously tell they are not my shade. I, I might even be in the fair category. I'm bum but not surprised because even 230 and probably is going to be a little bit too yellow for me because that's something that I have noticed with Anastasia Beverly Hills foundations if you are very very cool and pink undertone like me you might have a problem with this lineup <laughs> when I opened this box and I saw these big ass powders I was like I'm like god setting powder for literal days <laughs> <laughs> to give you guys a size comparison, this is the powder that you will be getting from ABH, and then this is the one from Beauty Bakery, which is one of my all-time favorites. I mean... She thick. This powder right here retails for $36, and you get a whopping 25 grams of product. This Beauty Bakery flower setting powder has 14 grams of product, so that is practically almost doubled, not quite but it's a lot it's a lot of powder so on the website it says anastasia beverly hills loose setting powder perfects brightens and sets makeup in place with ease this lightweight super fine powder formula goes on smoothly as it absorbs oil minimizes shine and leaves you with a flawless matte finish which is kind of interesting because the foundation's all about kind of being dewy but to each their own. Available in four natural toned shades and one universal translucent powder shade. This silky formula gives the complexion a seamless soft focus effect, blurs the look of imperfections and extends the wear of your makeup. Packaging is very basic. You get the ABH logo right here. Top is kind of like this, I don't know what you would call this texture, but it's really nice, it's matte. However, I am missing one thing. Who gonna write powder right here? Cause if I, if I have my foundation, I need my powder. In my opinion, the only thing that is missing from this powder container is a sifter. I like to have one of those, especially while I travel, because if I travel, things on the plane, you catch my drift. Let's look in here and see. Yeah, so there's powder already coming out even though I've hardly moved this. So that's the breakdown between both of the products. Now we are going to get into the application process which I am most excited about. For today, I am only going to be using a beauty sponge to blend out the foundation. So if you guys like to apply foundation with a brush, I'm sure there are gonna be plenty of videos out there of people using a brush to apply this foundation. However, you are not going to see that in my video because it, I'm doing you guys a favor. Scouts on her, scouts on her. Taking these off because we do not want foundation on our glasses. I'm really nervous, especially after seeing all the swatches on my arm, man, they were all so yellow. Uh, the shade that we're gonna try today is 220N. I feel like this shade was the pinkiest or peachest shade out of the five. I'm also going to be prepping my skin today with the Tatcha Silk Canvas. This is literally my holy grail primer, you guys. It hands down makes my makeup look so incredibly flawless. I can't honestly say enough good things about it. Today we are going to be using the Morphe Highlight and Contouring Sponge. Use code GARE for 10% off, um, but literally this is like the best beauty sponge ever. It makes your foundation look so airbrushed, so flawless. The only thing is I feel like I kind of like struggle to get under my eyes, so I do go in with a more pointier one. But taking the top off of the... We are going to... <laughs> With liquid foundations, I personally like to use a little palette like so. That way I can squirt the foundation on the back and just kind of like use a sponge to pick it up and apply it to the face. Two, three, work. On the palette, the foundation looks pretty thick. It is not very watery. I know a lot of sheer coverage or medium coverage foundations are a little bit more liquidy. This one, however, is not. Oh, she's too yellow. No. So I zoomed you guys in just a little bit, that way you can see more of what's happening as I'm blending this foundation out. But you guys, she is too yellow for me. Ooh. What I will say though, is this coverage is so beautiful and so far I am dying over this finish. In the description, I feel like they really nailed it when they said it kind of creates like this skin-like veil. Of course, it's been on my face for like two seconds, 
but so far I'm really, really liking it. So this was one kind of like dab into the three pumps that I squirted out on the palette. So as you guys can see, this is kind of what we have going on on this side of the face. So I'm going to go ahead and finish up this side of my face and then we will be back. Ooh. Baby, this is not my shade. Oh no. Now we are just going to finish the base real quick before this like super like dries all the way. Using the Jeffree Star concealers. I just feel like it's such a beautiful formula. Um, I do have another video of me kind of going more in depth on the concealer. So if you guys want to see that, I will put that video up here. This foundation loves this concealer. The two, oh, it is all about the wear though. We, it, yeah, it can look stunning right now, but we don't know how this looks once you wear it outside of the house and how it's gonna hold up. I feel like it's been a really long time since I've done any type of vlogging. I mean, technically, I guess I do that all the time on my Instagram stories, but don't clock me. <laughs> <laughs> we are going in with the Huda Beauty Tantor in the shade Fair. When I have a foundation that is too yellow, I feel like the pink and the yellow just kind of create like this green cast on my skin. And baby, we are not trying to look green. We are not trying to be Flubber's twin. I am praying to bring some life back into this face because I so far don't like the direction it's going. I feel like now my face is a little more life, a little more life is coming back to it. Okay, yeah, yeah, I can work, I can work with this. I'm gonna quickly blend out my under eye concealer and then set it with one of the powders. Um, I have to do it really quick though because I have really creasy under eyes and if I, if I don't set it like right away, I'm gonna have like crease city for the rest of the day. And wow, that is a lot of powder. You guys see what I mean? Like this needs a sifter. My under eyes are set um, and they're looking pretty good. Uh, oh my God, that feels like butter. I am going to hit my chin and then up here. Now going in with the Laura Mercier Powder Puff. You guys, this is one of my all time favorites. I just, they're really good. And then um, we are going to be using the shade Vanilla to set the rest of my face. So what I'll do is I'll kind of, I, I honestly am going to pick up a pretty generous amount and then I'm going to kind of like stamp it on the places where I want it. That way I'm not just, you know, distributing like a lot on one spot. And then I'll kind of like gently pat it on my face. And this is really going to lock in your foundation, like honestly all day. Crinkle this up just like a little taco almost. And then I'm going to take the tip, just the tip, and then we are going to dunk it in the powder. And this is how I like to set my nose. So I go ham when I set my nose. I like to add so much powder and some of you guys are going to think I'm crazy, but I get the most oily in my T-zone. Baking my nose has really helped when I kind of go in with my nose contour because your girl wants a nose that's like so I'm going to hop off camera, do my brows, and then I'm gonna be back and we're going to kind of quickly do the rest of my face. So next we are going to start bronzing up the face. I'm gonna be using my Marc Jacobs bronzer in the shade Tantastic. This is <laughs> my favorite. And ooh, this is going on like a dream. Also, I am using my Morphe M527 brush to apply my bronzer. Every time I apply bronzer, this is like my go-to brush. Mm, I'm a happy camper because my nose contour is put and it is not rubbing off. So I'm really, really excited about that. I'm going to put a little blush on. I'm using my trusty California blush by Benefit. It's literally my favorite blush. So we are going to go in with that and just kind of hit, we're gonna go a little bit lighter with the blush today. I don't want anything like super crazy because I feel like I've been going like ham with my blush lately. Um, so we're gonna tone it down a little bit. All right, so since we have a lot of powder on our face right now, I'm going to be taking my Morphe setting spray and just kind of spraying my face a little bit just to get the powder to really like melt into the skin. So Anastasia Beverly Hills actually released a new highlighter. So we're gonna try that out today. This is in the shade Vegas and this is one of their loose highlighters. I'm gonna be using a little bit of this and probably popping this on the higher points of the face. And we are are gonna start with our cheeks. You guys, this highlighter is so beautiful. I'm like, Anastasia knows what they're doing when they're releasing new products. Like they, they know. I'm taking the shade Translucent and we are going to bake the face. Carve out the underside of the contour just to kind of give it a little more definition. I don't feel like there's anything left for me to show you guys in my getting ready process that's really going to affect the foundation or setting powder. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to finish my face off of camera and then we are going to go out into the world 
experience what Mother Nature has for this face because Lord knows what that could be. Um, especially in LA with the pollution. So this is the completed look. I have to jet really fast because my messy ass is running late. What else is new? Um, but this is the look and you guys, I am living. I'm living for this foundation. So typically at this point of my makeup routine, like me being 100% done, like I will have been able to spot at least like 10,000 pores in my face. <laughs> but like up close, I honestly am not seeing many at all. Like my skin, I don't remember the last time my skin looked this soft or smooth or buttery in makeup. I will be giving you guys a update on how my skin is looking. Fingers crossed that we are still liking the foundation because girl, if it can look like this. I totally got my times wrong for today. I didn't actually have an event at the time that I thought I had it. So here we are. Um, I wanted to show you guys how the foundation looked outside. Um, it's been on my face right now for about four hours or so. I put it on around like two o'clock and it is now 6.30. So here's the thing with medium coverage foundations, I never really know if I'm going to love it or hate it. I never feel like it's an in-between. It's either one or the other. But right now I'm loving this foundation, you guys. I feel like this foundation is so user-friendly. I know like that sounds kind of like a techie thing to say, but honestly, like blending it out, it was so easy. And I feel like a beginner who is just getting into makeup, this would be like a stunning foundation to try because it's medium coverage not full coverage and it's so easy just to like blend out i never really thought i would say that about a foundation but here we are maya wanted to make a little cameo but she's out here doing a little check-in with me i'm catching the tail end of golden hour and i wanted to show you guys what my skin looked like in almost direct sunlight um because earlier when i tried to do it it just like it wasn't working so this is what our skin is looking like it's been about maybe like an hour since my last check-in so here we are it's like 7 45 right now um but you guys my skin looks good What's up guys? It is 9 o'clock. We are at Starbucks because I need caffeine because I have a lot of editing ahead. So yeah. You guys are always asking me what I get at Starbucks because I only get the same thing. So here in a second we are going to go through my order together and Jake is obviously going to get his too. So if you guys want a little best of both worlds, we got you. Venti iced quad soy latte please. Is that a venti in front? Yeah, a venti iced quad soy latte, please. A venti blonde soy latte. <laughs> a venti iced quad soy latte. Got it. Can we also get a grande triple almond milk latte? Okay, so what do you think about my makeup? Does anything look different? What does my face look like? Smooth and concealed. You heard it here first. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so specifically skin. I tried a new foundation today. Okay. And powder, like a new powder and foundation combo. So you know how my skin normally looks like when I go out? Mm -hmm. How does today look? Stunning. Okay. Genuinely, looks really good. There's like barely any pores at all. We talked about that earlier. Give me life. Cause y'all know I need it. Cause I'm gonna be pulling a late night. So the cry lighting was a little bit wonky, but I wanted to show you guys what this looks like. Seven to around eight hours in, I, I'm happy. I'm a happy camper. Wow, it has been a really, really long day. Um, it is now 2.15 and I still have my makeup on, so that is an accomplishment in itself. <laughs> so if I remember correctly, I started applying this around like one or two. So this has been on my face for around 12 hours, which is a very long time, um, which I feel like it's probably a normal amount of time for somebody to have a full face on, or maybe even like seven to eight hours. My skin looks amazing, you guys. Like it's just short, sweet and to the point. My skin looks incredible. Incredible. I am going to insert some like super super up close shots for you guys that way you can see exactly what I'm talking about There is no filter on my lens or anything. There's no BS over here I want to show you guys exactly what my skin looks like again I do want to reiterate that I have normal combo skin So the only reason why I'm bringing that up again is because I want to remind you guys that everybody is going to have a different Experience when it comes to applying makeup, especially base products foundations concealers and powders They're gonna be different when it comes to everybody. I am never going to recommend you a product that I do not absolutely love. And this product, 
I absolutely love it. So yes, the shade matching could use a little bit of work. Um, I'm gonna go out and try to see if I can get my hands on, I believe it was like 230 in, um, to see if that works for me. But I mean, regardless, you guys, I made this foundation work and the proof is in the pudding and pudding sounds really good right now. For the price point of these products, I think you are getting more than your money's worth. The powder, you get a hefty, hefty size. You know, you are getting, what was it, 25 grams of product in here, which is going to last you a long time. My only qualm with the powder is that it doesn't have a sifter. I'm a happy guy. Today was an amazing makeup day. Um, also, just so you guys know, I didn't touch up my face at all, so I didn't set it with powder since you guys saw me last in the studio. So what you see is what you get throughout the full day. I wanted to give you guys an honest representation of how your skin is going to look 12 hours into the day. Like if you guys are working, you forget to bring touch up stuff, your skin is probably going to look like this, which I honestly, I think it looks incredible. So that is honestly how I'm going to end this video, you guys. I highly recommend these products, but at the end of the day, it's you guys who are going out and spending your money and obviously make sure it's products that are going to work for your skin. I believe Sephora has an option to get samples like when you go in stores. So if you guys don't want to shell out the 36 or $38 that this foundation costs, then um, check into Sephora and see if you can get a sample of it. Try it out for a few days and see how your skin reacts to it. That is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I had so much fun reviewing this foundation for you guys. I love doing reviews and I hope you guys like watching them. If you do and you want to see more reviews from me or there are certain products that you want to see me review, feel free to leave them down in the comments and I would love to check those out and hopefully get that review going for you guys. Um, but at this point, if you aren't subscribed to my channel yet, what are you doing? Feel free to click that subscribe button down below to become a member of our fam. I would love to have you guys. With that being said, I hope you all enjoy the rest of your day and I will be seeing all of you in my next video. Bye guys.